We're doing PowerPoint Chapter 1. This is Step 6. We're asked to create a four-column, seven-row table on slide 4. I've clicked on slide 4 over here in our thumbnails. And if you'll look right here in the center, we have six icons that can help us do certain things. Insert a table, insert a chart, insert smart art, insert pictures, insert online pictures, or insert a video. We just want to make a table today, and so we click that icon, and it wants us to add a seven-column table with, oh, I'm sorry, a four-column table with seven rows. When we do that, because we chose the icon inside the text box, it will pre-size the table to our area. Perfect. So now it's asking us to do category, and last year, and this year, and increase and to type these certain things. I'm going to pause the video here and fill out my form. You can pause your video at home and fill out your table form as well. I went ahead and sped up and typed our table for categories last year, this year, and increase. And that was the end of step six, and it's always time to save. Let's look at the next step. Step seven. In the table you just created, apply the medium style accent to table style. So I'm going to go ahead and click on my table and make sure I get my frame dots. And then I'm going to come to design. And when I'm in design, I have table styles. And it says medium style. So here's my best match, my lights, my medium style, style to accent to. So style two, accent two. It turns a little darker. See, it's kind of a light orange here. It kind of turns to a little brown color when we have the medium style accent two. Format the table with text size. All right, so we're going to go to text size font 18, and we actually are at 18. All right, and center align the headings. So I'm going to highlight my top row here. I'm going to come to the Paragraph Alignment tab. You can click Align Text, but that's mental. It wants us to do Center, and if you hover your mouse here, you'll see it will give you Center with those lines. And then it says Right Align All Numbers. So we just want to grab Column 2, Cell 2, all the way down to Column 4. Cell 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. And then it wants us to Right Align All Numbers which if you see the lines pushing to the right of the paragraph panel, you will see how it will move your numbers to the right. Click Save, and that's the end of Step 7. Step 8, add a new slide after Slide 4. So I'm going to click right here in between Slide 4 and 5 and use the Comparison Layout. So I come to New Slide. I find the comparison layout, which is right here between two content and title only. It gives me side-by-side -side charts to compare. It's asking us to type want and waffle specialties as the title of this slide. I'm going to go ahead and grab want and waffle specialties. I'm going to copy it and click it in here in the title of this slide. And I'm going to click Save. And then it says type Lunch and Waffles for the headings on, on the left. And it default fonts to all capitals. I'm going to click Tab. And I'm going to click my mouse over here and type Dessert Waffles as the heading on the right column. Format the size to 18. So I'm going to highlight both of these, come over here to our font dialog box on our home tab, and click 18, and save. And that's the end of step 8. Step 9, type the following five items in column 1. So we're going to type chicken waffle grilled cheese, peanut butter and jelly waffle panini, zucchini Parmesan waffle, maple waffle, and margarita waffle pizza. 
Then over here, I don't think we're supposed to do it five times. I think it's supposed to be five items. In column two, waffle confetti, waffle banana, chocolate chip waffle cookie, waffle carrot cake, and waffle sundae. I'm going to type those up and pause the video here. You get to typing too. We finished typing up for step nine. We have our column of luncheon waffles and our collection of dessert waffles. I went ahead and put a space between each one. Um, make it nice and neat like you think. Let's save and that's the end of step nine.